Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to deploy your web application dynamic web project on your WebLogic server using STS ID. So let us start our tutorial. First of all, you need to open the STS ID. There you created the project for. I need to deploy this project for into my WebLogic server. If you see that on your console controller server tab is there if you click on the server tab you will see server tab is you will see that oracle weblogic server already integrate with my sts id if you want to know how to integrate oracle weblogic server with sts id there is a separate video i already uploaded on my youtube channel please see that video you will get idea about how to integrate weblogic server with your sts ID. So I need to start this STS ID here. You need to click on this button. So restart the server. I already start the server. I already started the server here. If your server is not started, you need to click on this green button. Restart the server. Once you restart the server, your server will start. That how can you on your console? You will see that the server is running. This is what the process of start your weblogic server on your STS ID. Now you need to open the browser. On your browser, you need to enter localhost colon 7001 slash console on your browser address bar. Click on enter. Now provide the username. So provide the username and password. Weblogy and password. Now here on your left side, you will see that domain structure is there under the base name. You have to click on the deployment link. On the right side, you will see that the summary of the deployment. Now to install a new application or the module for deployment to target in this domain so you need to click on this install button so if you click on the install button you need to provide the location of your bar so I need to create the bar first of all so welcome to STS ID open your STS ID on this STS ID, you will see that project 4 is there. I need to right click on this project. I need to say export as a var file. And I need to provide a destination folder where you wanted to create the var file. So, I will show you. I am directing the previous one and I will show you how to provide a destination. You need to click on the browse option, browse button on the E drive. I want to store that var in this directory, this directory location. So this is the destination path. So remove the unnecessary spaces in between your var file name and uh, provide a runtime target for your var file. I want to deploy this bar into my weblogic server so i am providing weblogic server as an runtime environment here and i need to click on finish so friend this is how you can create the bar file on your folder location this is the location where you saved your bar file now Welcome back to the browser. Here I need to provide the location where I created that one file. So under the e directory in my var file folder, I saved var file. Now select this var file, click on next, click on next button. Now 
in which server you wanted to deploy your application select the admin server click on next button click on next button click on finish button <coughs> so this is the project summary overview of your project you need to save this settings so all the changes has been active and the setting is updated successfully you will see the name of your project and context root so how can you access your project so this is the context so through this context root you can access your project now i want to see that entry in my deployment table so this is your table deployment table you will see the entry that project has deployed here and the state of this project is active and uh, it is okay this is a web application and the server where you have deployed that web application now open new tab here uh, on this address of your address bar of your web browser provide the address bar of your application so Project four. This is the context root. So this is the welcome to my web page. So this is the index page. The title is there. Index page. This is the welcome page. You will see there. Welcome page is coming on your browser. The information about this welcome page is given into the web dot xml. So within the, my project, if you go into the web content under the web content web inf and here web.xml if you open this one here within the web.xml you are provide you are providing the information of the welcome file as an index.jsp the same file is opening here welcome to my index page now i want to open my home.home.jsp if i will say home.js home.jsp so this is how you can directly access your home.jsp by entering the home.jsp from your address bar but i wanted to access this home.jsp through my url pattern so i want to access the my server classes and through the server classes i wanted to access my jsp page at that time in your web.xml you, you see that you are providing the information about your servlet class this is a servlet class my servlet class you created here and from the servlet class i wanted to display the home.jsp page how can you display that home.jsp page so within the web.xml you will need to provide information about your classes within the servlet and servlet mapping tab and this is the url pattern through this url pattern you can access my servlet page if you type home.jsp page it is a simply display your jsp page but if you want to if you want to display some dynamic content on to the home.jsp page at that time this trick will not be work so you need to go, you need to visit your you need to go to the proper channel then only if then only dynamic content will be fetching from the servlet and you, that will be display on your on, on your web page so this is the web app this is my url pattern here within the web.xml you will see that url pattern so I am entering the URL pattern into the address bar and you need to click on enter. So this is how the home page you will see here and along with the home page you can also see dynamic content on your home.jsp page. So if you see on the console source, this is the welcome to my server. So this is the print 
value this is a message i print on the console once you interact with the servlet of your web on your web application so this is how you can deploy your web application into the web logic server so this is what about deployment of your web application into web logic server so if you once you follow the steps you will get to know how you can deploy your web application into the web logic server so friends this is all about deployment thank you thank you for watching my youtube channel i will see you i will see you on my next video tutorial till then take care thank you